Welcome back to Inside the Film Room. I'm John Schmel, joined by Sean O'Hara. It's all presented by Sharp. And Sean, today we're going to take a look at Sterling Shepard, who led the Giants with 66 catches this year. On this play, shows his speed and adjusts to the ball well in the air. Yeah, pretty remarkable. He led the team in receptions despite missing four games earlier in the year due to injury. So you mentioned that he's on the outside, and, and this is really Sterling Shepard, his forte. Beating man coverage. You're going to see a great release right here on this press coverage. Just an outside release right here. But the key to this play, John, was Sterling Shepard's ability to adjust to the ball while it's in the air. So you're going to see the release right here off the line of scrimmage. He beats the corner clean. Right now, he's got some separation right there. And Daniel Jones knows, all right, I can make this throw up the sideline. And this is called the back shoulder throw. All right? And what he's doing is throwing away from the corner who has inside leverage. And there is the body control that I was talking about with Sterling Shepard. Look at him reach back for this ball right here. Both hands. I mean, it's not easy to contort your body like that, but he makes it look easy. And you'll see it from the end zone angle. Um, first of all, great protection up front, which allows Daniel Jones to do this. But he also, Daniel Jones, look, he sees there's man over right here. All right, He knows he's got man over here, and there's nobody in the middle of the field, no deep safety. So he knows right now I, I could take my shot and I can pretty much throw the ball wherever I need to put it to let my receiver make a big play. And great releaser off the line of scrimmage. There is, it's supposed to be bump and run, but he gets right by the corner with very little contact. He does. Clean release. That always helps. And then the location on this throw. To be running full speed like this, you know, I, I think I don't know if we appreciate it as much as we should, but to, to be running full speed like that and turn your, your body around like that completely is pretty remarkable. And Sterling Shepard does that routinely. Yeah, and Sterling Shepard, Sean, one of the Giants' big-time targets on third down. When they need a play in the middle of the field to get an intermediate game, he's usually one of Daniel Jones' go-to guys. This time, though, it's Cole McCoy finding him in the middle of the field. Yeah, we showed you a, a man-beater route and, and against man coverage getting off the line. Now, Seattle, they're much more of a cover-three zone-type defense. And you'll see there's a safety right here in the middle of the field. And you've got a corner that kind of makes it look like press man. But with the motion that the Giants run on this play, it loosens that corner up. You can see the motion right here by Slayton. Now the corner loosens up. And the acceleration and the speed right now by Sterling Shepard as he runs this route, look at the space that he's creating right here with the safety, that relationship. That safety is backing up because he has to defend him on a go route. And then in zone coverage right now, can you sit down? How fast can you stop your feet at full speed to create this separation? I mean, look at this. If you're a quarterback right now, look at the radius right now around Sterling Shepard. There is no defender within 10 yards of him. So an easy throw from Colt McCoy. You show your quarterback your numbers. Here I am. And he hits you right in the chest. And then, of course, a little bit of yardage after the catch. That was a big window, Sean. The next play, a much smaller window for Daniel Jones to fit his pass into. But another way that we see Sterling Shepard change directions on a dime. Yeah, you hear about communication, being on the same page with your quarterback all the time when you talk about wide receivers and quarterbacks. This is a great concept of that. Now, this is zone coverage again, and you're going to see Sterling Shepard's going to run through this zone coverage. And the concept with this is a sin route, all right? And that is a seam route right here in the slot by Golden Tate, who clears it out, and then the in route. So the sin concept. And the quarterback has to trust that the receiver is going to make that in cut at the right depth. And then as a receiver, you've got to continue down the line and trust that the ball is going to be there. And you'll see this play unfold as Golden Tate clears out from the slot. And you can see right now, Patrick Peterson, great corner in this league, is in a trail position because he knows he has safety help over the top. Sterling Shepard knows that. So as he makes this break right here, the key is don't lose speed as you come down the line and accelerate through that route. Watch Sterling Shepard accelerate through this. And boy, I tell you, you want to talk about a game of inches. Patrick Peterson is a fingernail away from breaking that ball up. But Sterling Shepard, man, he always seems to come down with the football in these high traffic catches, John. And, Sean, we see Sterling Shepard at the top of his route. He's able to create separation, something every quarterback needs out of their wide receivers. That's a look at Sterling Shepard inside the film room presented by Sharp. For Sean O'Hara, I'm John Schmelk. Thanks for being with us.